If you want to show this kind of error message without writing any kind of code, then you are on the correct video. So in this video, we are going to show an error message but just using flows. So let's look into our scenarios. So right now we have a case object and under this case we have case related activities. As you can see there are two activities, activity 1 and activity 2. Both of these activities are in progress status. So what our scenario is that if we go and change the status of this case to closed, all these related activities or let's say if I change the status to escalated, all the status of this case related activities should change to complete. So if any of the activity is not complete, it should throw an error message saying that you cannot change the status to escalated. So in very simple terms, if any of this case status is not incomplete or if it's not complete and if we try, try to go and change the status to escalated, it should throw an error message. When all the activities are complete, only then we should be able to change the status to escalated. So let's go ahead and write a flow for it. So I'm going to create a flow. <coughs> and most probably I'm going to use a record trigger flow for sure. So I will use a start from scratch and I'll go record trigger flows and I'm going to write it for case object and whenever the case is updated or created or updated let's say and our condition for us is <coughs> status is changed and status equals to escalated okay whenever we are going to change the status of the case to escalated all these things are going to run so i'm going to keep it as fast will updated because of course i want to throw an error message so it should be in before updates right so next we are going to go ahead and get the records get get all the related activities or basically we should be able to get the activities which are not complete right so get case or let's say get case case related activity yeah so this is our object case, case related activity and we are going to get <coughs> all the cases first of all whose case equals to the current record id so we have to get all the cases uh, all the related activities related to this case right case related activities related to this case uh, id and along with that we have to find all the cases whose status equals to complete completed or not completed does not equals to complete let's say okay and i'm not going to get one record but i'm going to get all the records okay now next what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply a decision checking that if I find the record while getting this record if I find any of this record then in that case basically we have at least one case related activities which is not completed so we should be able to throw an error message in this scenario so we will check if the case related activities are incomplete something like that right <clears throat> so what we are going to do is what we are going to do is we are going to check related activity are incomplete okay and what we are going to do is we are going to use this get all record uh, related records right so get records is null false so we at least found one record which was not complete right in that case if we find any of the record for an example right now we are trying to get all the records whose status is incomplete right all the cases all the case related activities related to this case which status is not completed and if we found any of this record this means this get related activities is null false that that means we at least have one related activities which is incomplete and if we found so then in that case we can use something called as custom error so in order to throw an error message on the screen you can use custom error inside these flows so we can say throw error for message type something like that okay i'm just writing it for now and here is where i'm going to write the actual message so i'm going to going to write the message something like please 
close all the case related activities to make the case as escalated sorry for my spelling but right now yeah so basically what we are trying to do over here is that whenever a case status is changed and it's changed to escalated what we will do is we'll get all the related activities right if you find any of these uh, activities which is uh, case related activities whose status is completed then in that case automatically this get all the related active activities will not be null okay that's what we are trying to check it over here if it's not null this means there is at least one case related activities which is incomplete and if that is so then we are going to throw an error message on that particular record but if we do not find this means all the case related activities are complete and we will proceed further okay let's click on save case closed scenario something like that okay let's click on save and let's activate this now right now we at least have one record who have case related activities in in progress status so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and change the status to escalated and let's click on save so as you can see i'm getting an error message something like this right please close all the case related activities to make the case as escalated now if i go to any of this case or let's say if i go and change the statuses to in progress or if i change the status to completed let's see what happens and i'll delete this one just for now i'll delete this one now if i go and try to change the status from new to escalated it should work because we have all the case related activities with status as completed so as you can see it's working perfectly fine so this was all i had to show in this video if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel